Hello friends, this video on solutions part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Heptane and octane form an ideal solution at 373 Kelvin. Vapor pressure of two liquid components are this and this respectively. What will be the vapor pressure of the mixture of 26 gram of heptane and 35 gram of octane? Pretty easy question. So let's assume this is my heptane and this is my octane. It is given that vapor pressure of heptane is 105.2. This is my 105.2 kilopascal and octane is 46.8 kilopascal. Please pay attention to the units, it's all kilopascal. What will be the vapor pressure of the mixture of 26 gram of heptane? So you are mixing here 26 gram of this and you are mixing here 35 gram of octane. Right? These two are mixing. So but I am looking for the mole fraction here. So the moles of Octane I am mixing is how much? Mass of octane by molar mass. Why I am finding moles? Because I am interested in knowing the mole fraction. So moles of octane which I am hitting is mass of octane by molar mass. So mass of octane is 35 and molar mass of octane is how much? 114 gram per mole. You know what you can find? C octane is CHH18. Correct, you can find this 12 into 8 plus 18. You'll get this 104 gram per mole. So you solve this, you get 0 0.31 moles. Similarly, you want to find the moles of uh, heptane used mixed that is nothing but mass of heptane by molar mass of heptane this is molar mass of octane and that is nothing but mass of heptane is 26 gram and octane molar mass heptane molar mass is 100 gram per mole here you can do this is heptane Heptane is what? C7 H16 7 into 12 plus 16 You will get 100 gram per mole So you solve this You get 0 0.26 Correct So with this With this If I want to find Mole fraction of octane That is octane is my 2 here Right X2 or let me use octane only here, right? Mole fraction of octane will be what? Moles of octane by moles of octane plus moles of heptane. Moles of octane is 0.31 divided by 0 0.31 plus 0.26. Both moles gets cancelled. Correct. So mole fraction of uh, octane is this value that is 0.544 similarly mole trans fraction of heptane will be what 1 minus of these 1 minus mole fraction of octane that we have seen that is nothing but 0.456 or you can find directly also here that is nothing but moles of heptane by total moles of octane and heptane this is what you have got so I have found x1 that is nothing but moles of heptane and that is my 0.456 and x2 that is my moles of octane that is 0.54 I have to find the vapor pressure right vapor pressure of the mixture so vapor pressure is p total that is nothing but pressure of octane 
plus pressure of heptane and that is nothing but pressure of octane in the ideal case into mole fraction of octane plus pressure of heptane in the uh, pure form into mole fraction of heptane. So what is the pressure of octane in the pure form? This guy that is 46.8 kilopascal please note the unit into into mole fraction of octane that is my this guy mole fraction of octane 0.544 0.544 correct plus partial pressure uh, of heptane in the pure form that is 105.2 kilopascal into uh, mole fraction of heptane is my 0 0.46 0 0.456 sorry so if you solve this if you solve this solve this the answer you will get is 73.43 kilopascal right this side this side the uh, and this side yes you solve this you get this answer this becomes actually 25.46 kilopascal plus this becomes 47.97 kilopascal so you add these two you'll get 73.43 kilopascal and that is the total pressure i am looking for and that's what the question asks what is the vapor pressure of the whole lecture pretty easy question the question is the vapor pressure of uh, water is 12.3 kilopascal at 300 kelvin we have to find the vapor pressure of one molar solution of non volatile solid in it see one molar solution is what one molar solution means one moles of solute in one kg of solvent you see molar molar is solvent other case it is solution so 1 kg of solvent means here it is 1 kg of water pure water so let's suppose this is my pure water and i am taking a non volatile solute so this this be my solute since i need 1 kg so let me take 1 kg 1 kg of pure water and mix with some solute correct it says the vapor pressure of water is 12.3 kilopascal that means it is telling the vapor pressure of pure water is 12.3 kilopascal so let this be 12.3 kilopascal we have to find what vapor pressure of the solution see the solution if you see this, since this is non-solute the solution will be the vapor pressure in the solution will be only because of water correct it will not be because of the solute so let's find this. So if you see the formula we know rolled off P2 is nothing but that is this P2 is P2 naught into X2. X2 is nothing but mole fraction of water in the solution. But mole fraction of water in the solution is something which we don't know. Let's find this. This two values we know. So mole fraction of water in the solution is nothing but moles of water by moles of water plus moles of solute. Correct. So moles of water is what mass of water by molar mass of water. So mass of water we have taken is 100 gram sorry 1 kg that is 1000 gram by molar mass of water we know is nothing but 18 gram per mole. The whole thing is divided by same value 1000 by 18 mole plus what is the moles of uh, solute here please note it is given that it is one molar that is moles of solute is one it is given that correct so if you solve this you get something like 0.9823 Right, this becomes 55.5 55.5 by 55.5 plus 1 that is 55.5 by 56.5 that is 0.9823 so you can easily put the value here right so p2 will be what p2 naught is given 12.3 kilopascal into 
0.9823. Solve this, you get 12.08 kilopascals. If you see the vapor pressure is here 12.08 kilopascal, right? The vapor pressure of pure water was 12.3. It has reduced, and we will see why it gets reduced. Why, when you add a non volatile solute, the vapor pressure gets reduced. We will see that concept also in the next few slides. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.